Hi guys, in this video I wanted to show you a really quick and simple method to get rid of chromatic aberration. Now if you don't know what it is, I'm going to show you this picture as an example. It's this really kind of nasty purple fringing you can get on your images. Now often in photography it's called purple fringing, you know, most people call it chromatic aberration, shorten it down to CA, whatever, it doesn't matter. Often this happens with not very high quality lenses, so you get this purple and this green outline, and as you can see on this picture of this beautiful, beautiful bird here, I've got the purple fringing and the green fring fringing, so I've got both, so brilliant. This method I saw on a tutorial on YouTube ages and ages ago, and it's probably still up, but uh, I thought I'd share it with you guys because you guys may not have seen it. For my viewers out there who don't necessarily, you know, search this kind of thing, this could be a really helpful tutorial. Um, but basically what you want to do is you want to duplicate your photo layer, like so, so it's, that's easy. Then you want to go to filter, blur, and add a Gaussian blur. Now you want to add enough so that this fringing starts to go, so you can't really see it, so around 15 pixels is good, press OK. Then what you want to do is you want to go to your layer properties here and change that layer which you've just blurred to colour. Now as you can see it starts to reduce the colour and also it's got rid of the aberration around the side of the pigeon. But as you can see it's decreased the colours and it's kind of made the image go a bit blurry looking so you don't really want that so what we're going to do is we're going to go to layer and then layer mask and hide all so this will now hide that layer and what we want to do then we want to go to the brush tool and we want to use the white color and what you want to do then is you just want to zoom in on your photo like so and what you want to do is you want to just paint around where the aberration is occurring so around oh do this on the the layer mask, the black layer, and then you want to just go around the aberration like so. Now you see that gets rid of it really nicely and it makes a massive difference to your image. So you see I'll go around the side of the pigeon here, down the side, let me just zoom in so you guys can see this a little better. Now obviously, unfortunately with this image, I've actually got aberration on basically every single feather, every single hair, whatever you want to call it, on this pigeon. So that's a bit unfortunate. But um, for the really bad aberration like this, you want to just go around it like that, just to get rid of it. And this is a really easy technique. It's really quick, simple. Now you guys might comment in the comment section and say, Jack, you do realize there's a lens correction feature on Photoshop that does this for you. Well, a lot of the time it doesn't do a very good job and the only way really to do it is manually. And this is the way to do it, really. It's very simple, very quick, does the job and really, really makes your image look a lot better. Because as you can see, that aberration on this is really quite bad. And what this has allowed me to do is edit this out quite nicely with no real issues. So there you go. That's a really quick and easy way of getting rid of CA, chromatic aberration, purple fringing, whatever you want to call it. If you've enjoyed this video, then be sure to like, share as well on your social networks. If you think people will find this video useful, more Photoshop and photo photography based videos will be coming up. So subscribe for more and I will look forward to seeing you guys in another video shortly.